If you are looking to create a Kepler wallet, here's a step-by-step -step guide for you. There are a few things that I'll be going through in this guide, and I'll leave a description in the timestamps below. You can go to the official website for the Kepler wallet, and you can click here to install the Chrome extension. This will bring you to the Chrome App Store, and you can select Add to Chrome. You will now be able to see the Kepler wallet in your Chrome browser. You can click on the extension button and select the pin icon. This will allow you to see the Kepler wallet at all times. You can click on the Kepler wallet extension and select create new account. You will be given a seed phrase which allows you to back up your wallet. It is very important that you do not lose this seed phrase or give it to anyone else. The person who has this seed phrase will be able to access all of your funds. As such, I would suggest that you write it down on a piece of paper and store it securely. You can enter a wallet name as well as the password. It is possible to change this account name and I'll show you how to later on. Once you have entered your account details, you can click on next. On this page, you will need to verify the seed phrase. You will need to enter this phrase using the same sequence as you have copied down. If you are unsure of the sequence, you can always go back and look at the seed phrase again. Once you have entered the seed phrase correctly and click on register, your Kepler wallet will now be created. You can access your Kepler wallet by clicking on the extension. Since Kepler is an interchain wallet, you are able to switch between multiple networks, such as Cosmos, Osmosis, The Secret Network, and Crypto.org. Each network has its individual deposit address. If you are looking to send a certain asset to the Kepler wallet, you can check out my guides here. Moreover, you will need to manually add the Terra network to your Kepler wallet, and you can check out my guide here on how to do so. If you would like to change the name of your wallet, you can go to the Profile tab, select Settings, and then click on Change Account Name. You can access the Kepler Wallet dashboard, and I'll leave a link in the description below. This allows you to view the networks that are connected to your Kepler Wallet, and you can access both staking and governance. Are there any crypto guides that you'd like me to create? Do share them with me in the comments below. You can use the same wallet on desktop and mobile. After downloading the Kepler app, you can select Import Existing Wallet. There are two main ways that you can import your desktop wallet. If you click on Import Existing Wallet, you can paste your seed phrase. After selecting Next, you will have the same wallet on mobile and desktop. You can verify this by comparing the deposit address on both desktop and mobile. If both addresses are the same, you will be using the same wallet. An easier way to link the desktop wallet to mobile is by going to Settings and select Link Kepler Mobile. This will show you a QR code that you can scan using your mobile phone. On mobile, you can select Import from Kepler extension, and you can scan the QR code on your desktop. So this is a deep dive on creating a Kepler wallet and importing it to your mobile phone. If you found this guide useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and you can check out my next video over here.